Welcome to episode one of our in-depth featurettes for the DCS F4E Phantom, aiming to give you a deeper look at all the features and capabilities of your new jet, coming soon to DCS World. The F4E was an all-weather interceptor, fighter, and ground attack aircraft, and our recreation focuses on two key Phantom variants. One is a fairly vanilla F4E 45MC with the digital scan converter group radar, slatted wing, and many other optimizations and improvements introduced through technical orders and retrofits. The second variant coming later in early access is the DMAS ARN-101 equipped F4, which will include the Tizio targeting system, pave tack, and more advanced weaponry, such as the GBU-15. Our Phantom simulation is the culmination of almost three years of intense research, engineering, and artistry. Our ultimate goal has been to blend all of these elements together into one ultimate high-fidelity recreation of the Phantom. While we've invested ourselves into offering a more in-depth and authentic simulation than ever with our F4, it also serves as the vehicle for our new UI technologies, allowing for an in-game manual and interactive tooltips feature, as well as revamped features such as Jester 2.0. We've introduced a virtual crew chief who will help you start up your aircraft, a new procedural character movement system, a new wear and tear system, and much more. But at the very core of our F4 is a complete redesign and rethink of how we simulate aircraft. And this is our new next generation components based simulation system. Let's deep dive this time into what that really means. The aircraft is a culmination of thousands of carefully engineered and recreated components, which constitute the entire aircraft. From a bus, circuit breaker, lamp, the filament of the lamp, to a hydraulic rod or actuator or electric motor, the aircraft is recreated as an intricate and authentic web of thousands of components, and each can individually fail or be influenced by other components if linked. Each component may also have subcomponents, each with their own properties and characteristics. Let's take this gauge for example. It's just a standard altimeter after all. In our components-based system, the needle, drums, and mechanisms are all separately simulated entities, and each can fail individually. Each may have its own unique properties, which we set based on manufacturer documentation and other research. An example for the needle is friction, as needle friction and stickiness is simulated, shakiness, movement speed, and more. This level of detail extends to thousands of components across the entire aircraft, all interlinked in a complex web, ultimately simulating the entirety of the legendary F4 Phantom. With this new approach, we can now simulate thousands of individual failures, and through early access, we will be further expanding the system with deep wear and tear and variability, offering a more dynamic and realistic experience than ever before. The F4E comes chock full of weaponry and capability in both air to ground and air to air roles. Sidewinders, sparrows, mavericks, all sorts of dumb bombs, paved spike targeting pod, hobos, walleye, shrike, and more. The F4E is truly a jack of all trades. Learning to fly and fight in the F4 is a challenge, and it's a hands on experience at all times, offering little assistance. The chasm between a great Wizzo and pilot crew and a pair of novices will be large. At the very beating heart of the F-4 weapons capability is the APQ-120 radar. We've aimed at creating the most intricate simulation of a pulse radar ever made for a flight simulator. And learning the intricacies of operating and effectively using this radar together with your Wizzo will be a lengthy and enjoyable challenge. Speaking of which, multi-crewing in the Phantom is a big part of the experience. Multiplayer multi-crew capability will be available on day one to fly and fight with your Wizzo or guy in back. And if you thought visibility in the front was bad, 
<laughs> oh, man. We have so much to unpack and to show you, so tune in next time for a deep dive on the flight model before we move on to a thorough look at weapons, the APQ-120 radar, Jester AI, the crew chief feature, and more. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next episode.